everyone this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I am sharing a baby favor box it could be for a baby shower um, or for just a baby gift it's really cute you can fit little candies in here some Hershey's Kisses some little Ghirardelli some Jordan almonds whatever you choose to put inside it it's three by three by one and it opens very easily like this for easy filling and for easy opening and I thought this is going to be a really quick and easy box because um, you want to make a lot of these for like a baby shower or something so I wanted to make it just as easy as possible so you can make a bunch of these I just found out I'm gonna be a great grandmother and boy when I say that oh my goodness I feel really old I'm just too young for that <laughs> But anyway, it's happening. <laughs> and um, so that's why little baby has been, um, baby things have been on my mind. But I haven't done a baby box in a while, so I thought that I'd share this one with you. So today we're using the Little Elephant um, stamp set. It's super adorable. This is in our annual catalog. So it's this little elephant. Um, and this is great even for cards. For like if you want to make thank you cards for... Um, a baby or if you want to just make a little congratulations card to um, sit, put with your gift or it's just got everything here's a little umbrella for a shower I thought that'd be really cute but today we're going to use this little elephant we're going to use the hello little one and these hearts right here and I am going to do this one in Bermuda Bay because that one is soft sea foam and I realized that the soft sea foam is kind of light to see. Um, so we're going to do it in Bermuda Bay, which is also another neutral color. If you don't know um, the gender of the baby yet, it's uh, also a really good choice. And Or you can use pool party even, too, would be another one. But if you do, you can absolutely choose one of our um, pinks or blues. We got a lot of them. And it would be really cute as well. So this piece is 9 by 5 You're going to need two pieces to mat. And this is our new 6x6 six six Designer Series Paper Pack. I use the soft sea foam, and I use that one's in the Subtles. This one is in the Brights Collection. It comes in all our color families. And it has, um, I think, four sheets of each one and four different designs. So each side has a different design. But I love this one. And here's the other side of this one. But this pack is so great, and I love those six by six. They're great for cards too. So these pieces are one and a quarter by two and seven eighths, and then you'll need a piece of Whisper White. And I'm using the thick, which I've gone to thick pretty much for everything since I do so much 3D. Um, the thick always works so much better for me. And then this is just another piece of the Bermuda Bay that we're going to use to cut out our um, dies with our dies. So the dies that we're using today are going to be our stitched rectangles. I've already pulled out the ones um, that we need, one that was here, and then um, a circle and a scallop that we're going to use on here. So this is our layering circles. So you do need both of those for this project. And that is it. So let's get scoring this piece. So I'm going to use my Simply Scored for this. And on the 9-inch side, we're going to score it at 1, at 4, 5, and 8. And then we're going to turn it, and you're going to score it at 1 and 4, or 1 inch on each side and that is it these go together very quick and easy which you need if you're going to make a bunch <laughs> so we are going to cut these now we're going to cut off all of these four corners on the other end also And then you're just cutting up each one of these side ones. And I am going to cut out like I normally do. And I'm going to cut a little bit off here. It just folds into the box a little bit easier for me. And 
and you're done there that's how quick and easy it goes all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my detailed um, trio punch up here and we're going to round the corners on this now you do have to fold these in when you're um, doing your corners line that up oh, I didn't get it all the way in there we go now we're going to do turn it and we're going to do this one and now we're going to do these two all right so we have our corners rounded if you have a little corner rounder uh <laughs> yeah corner rounder um just use that we're going to sharpen these up here And I used, on the other one, I used the little Velcro to close it. But I'm going to show you how you can use those little magnets also. Um, either one would work and be just as fast to, to use. Um, so you, can, you have a choice there how to close it. All right, so I'm going to use some tear and tape on this. Use a strong adhesive always on your boxes. That is a big hint because if you make a lot of these and you make them ahead of time, you want these boxes to stay together. You don't want to be going back and having to attach, and it's important that you use a strong adhesive because if you use snail, they are going to fall apart. So you need a really good, and this tear and tape is great for that. It's really strong. So I'm using two pieces on each one, and then we'll remove the backings. And then you're just going to tuck these in and pull these sides up and line up your top edges so this lines up straight so I usually just make sure your top edges are straight there and make sure they're both going the same direction and then we're going to make this the front of our box because this is the side going backwards so let me grab a couple of my um, magnets. Now the the fasteners that I get, the Velcro, these are the little ones, they're the thin clear, and I get these at Walmart. So, and probably a, any sewing store would have them. They're 3 8 inch, so they're perfect for bags and boxes. And then the magnetic discs that I use are um, from Basic Gray, and they're these little ones. And these are the small magnets from Basic Gray. You can get these on Amazon. And you want a positive and one negative. They always want to grab each other. So I'm going to remove the backings from here. And let's see, this is our front. So we want it in here. And then I'm just going to take the other one, the backing off here, and then I'm just going to try to line them up just right. This is small enough where you can, sometimes I'll attach the magnets, but on a box like this, it's a little bit hard to get them, to be able to press them closed. So, um, oh, I did that wrong. I should have put it on this side. Let me see if I can pull it off real quick. Yeah because I want it to close that way. So we're going to put this one on this side. And then I'm just going to line this up. And as long as you have it, you know, relatively close, they're going to snap shut. And this opens really and closes easy, but like I said, the Velcro works really well for that. All right, so let's mat our pieces. You can mat these with your snail. And we're going to put one 
you can mat both sides if you like um, I'm only matting the one because this is the front of the box and I like this one doesn't really need to be matted both and I want to keep it simple so we're doing one up here and one there and then we're going to bring the big shot up and we're going to go ahead and cut all our pieces and then we'll do our stamp let's go ahead and stamp first this way I know I have my little elephants in the right place alright so we're using Bermuda Bay this time and we're going to stamp our little he's so cute and then we're going to do the hello little one this one's a little bit trickier um, to line up, but very easy. And then we're gonna do our little hearts. Isn't that cute? I love this color for this. All right, so that is our stamping. So now we can bring up the big shot and get this all ready to go. All right, so I am using my magnetic platform. Look how nice. I finally got some new, um, I go through these plates so fast. I've tried everything to straighten my old ones out. Um, I really don't like to put plastic in the oven because um, that's one of the ways. So I decided I, it's just worth it to me to just buy new plates. So I am going to use my regular circle. Let me tell you what sizes these are in case you have punches, you can use those. It's two and a half inches circle. And then, so this one is the scalloped edge we're going to use behind it. And then this one is our stitched rectangle. And we're going to just run these all through at the same time. I love when I have new plates. It makes things so much easier. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave that on there. So we have that. We have our scallop. And then we have our little stitched. I love the new stitched rectangles. All right, so we have all our pieces there. And we're ready to put these all together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put this in the center here. That's why we only cut, we don't need a full sheet. So that's why I cut those into two pieces. We can save the rest. You can absolutely cut if you want one piece, but I just wanted to try to save the designer series paper. Now we're going to put this one on it. It looks so cute because it has that stitching around it. See if you can see that in there. Yeah. All right. So now we are going to add this. You can see I used a scrap there. <laughs> Always use. I didn't even realize I was using a piece that was used already. Oh. But it doesn't matter because we're adhering it to this. And then I'm going to grab some dimensionals, and we're going to put some dimensionals on the back here. I think I'm going to put four, because I like it to sit evenly on here. So we're going to remove these. And we're going to put that on there. This is so cute in this color. And that is it. So there you have it. Isn't that elephant just adorable? So you have two choices. You can use the magnets or the Velcro. Either way, um, the, the Velcro definitely is a cheaper route than the magnet. Um, so that's what I'm going to probably use on mine. So... Anyway, that is it, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I do a lot of 3D projects. And I also do Facebook Live on my Stamping with Amore Facebook page. So come and like that page so that you can join me on Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Central. And um, I always do a 3D pro project on there. 
So, all right, everyone, I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.